Tell me what can I ask? I'm chasing bags in the midst of trying to live. Yep. Call us thugs, but all the while we return the hate you give. Yeah, that's My right. finishing touch of portraits I painted can twist your mind a bit. Uh. To where you know you got it, but temporarily can't find a shit. Yes, Honesty in the words, compassion within my truth. Determined to find a way, we ain't blowing smooth as a flu. No mm. photos I have to shoot to make any picture more vivid. Right. Come inside and have a seat and let's sit and talk for a minute. Tell me what all right, Spreaker. I mean, we're gonna keep it rolling, but Facebook, we got to stop. I gotta stop the stream. This is why they want us stuck in the box that they put us in. Should a friend be worried about violence from our oppressor? I'ma tell them just return on that fire with desperate measures. What's better, building buildings or kicking down someone's door? Found the air within my soul, but my body demanded more. I need oxygen. I can't breathe. Some technical difficulties once again. It gets harder in your life. It's hard up here in GMP. But I gotta keep everything. Cause my niggas need oxygen. Cause we can't breathe. They briefly tell you my story, but never can tell it like myself. Cause I can give it to your ass raw to anybody else. Listen and pay attention. Decisions are off the neighbors' back. Oh, Spreading love to negative people with they all hateful ass. Did a lot for niggas who shit on me. Oh, ungrateful ass. So I ain't even bugging this nothing. I'm still gonna chase I'm the bag. On my ass, that's a place I'm choosing to never be. Even if I'm up and I'm working on my shit mentally. Yeah. Make sure you got truth in that word and what niggas mention me. Uh -huh. Cause being Strong is all in the gene of my people's history. This is why your negative energy never gets to me. But if it ever did, and you finally get to witness me, fuck, your time is up. Cause I started this on respect. Now I gotta tame your peace. Cause you started off showing less. I'm blessed, but I confess, I ain't something you try to see. And I be damned if y'all police think of taking a knee on me. I need oxygen. I can't breathe. Cause I can't breathe. I need oxygen. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. We can restart that stream. Restart that stream. We know we be having problems after the song for some reason. I don't understand. But it's all good. We about to go down. I want to welcome y'all to the journey. Welcome you to the journey. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to welcome you to the journey. We're going to welcome you to the journey. I'm gonna act like that's what I meant to do, but that wasn't what I meant to do. You know what I'm saying? I want to welcome you to the journey in style. In style, you know. So we gonna just go and just kick it a little bit, have a little bit of fun. We about to do our thing. Yeah, I'm gonna act like that's what I meant to do too. You know, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Need oxygen. You tell me what you know what I'm saying? I'm chasing we about to kick it though. Oh, we gonna talk about. We gonna talk about those five key benefits to having a tribe. Why you need a tribe? That's what we are gonna be talking about today. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I want to make sure I welcome everybody because you know you are now standing in the congregation of the mighty. Yes, it is. It's the congregation of the mighty, baby. That's what you're standing in right now. And we having us a good time. Congregation of the mighty. Come on, anime. Get on your job, girl. All right. I want to welcome all y'all to Jamie Journey. I know, I know, I know that I am super 
super late. I got up early this morning to do a couple of things for the babies. And then I wanted to finish my podcast as far as the part two of talking about uh, the Matrix. And, you know, it is what it is, family, you know. And like I said, I didn't want to really sit through that thing a, a whole second time. You understand what I'm saying? I, it wasn't. It didn't move me like that. You know what I'm saying? It's a good movie. Don't get me wrong. It's worth seeing, but it might not be worth seeing uh, in quick succession, one after the other. So I'm gonna do some other movie reviews as time move on, as time move forward, because we're moving into the year of power for for Brother Hot Tim. You know what I'm saying? For for me personally, moving to a to a year of power. Um, we're moving into the year of family for. Uh, worldwide for us for the tribe you know what i'm saying so um we're gonna do we're gonna do some building but yo we about to get this thing started let's go and get it started can we get it started anime did you mind if we get it started with anime you mind if we get it started girl how about you silver you ready you ready you ready uh explosion how, how you feeling right now uh, okay so everybody ready but us. All right, everybody ready. Everybody ready but me. So let's go. Let's just do it, man. Let's just do it. I'm gonna do it. Hold on. Oh, it's time to Grab drink. Grab a glass, it's family. It's time for us to get started. I'm so excited. Get up here, kids, magic. Here, magic, rock. Shots out. Here we go. Drink your water. Come on, come on, drink your water. But first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath, take a breath, take your breath, take now. Your breath. Grab your glass for some water. Grab, Grab your it. glass. Lift your picture of that water. Or a bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh-huh. Simply pour some, some water. water. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, move, move, then drink. Move your body. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink or should water. I say, raise, toast, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy, remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on, drink it, drink it, drink it. Come on. You can do it. Drink that health in. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Take 
take your breath, take your breath, take your breath. Lift and pull. Lift, lift it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Come on, pour it. Move your body. Come on, Toast your ancestors. Drink. Drink, drink, drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Got water in my mouth. Ah! Man, it's so good to be here. Today, man, family, I was up early. I was up early. I did not. I did not. I was like, okay, I'm about to do the show. I said, no, nah, I'm going to lay down for a second. Um, I was, um, ah, so I'm going to get, I'm going to do the show. I'm going to do the show. So, you know, I got up. I started going through, I started reviewing um, uh, the Matrix movie. And I was like, oh, okay. We got the Matrix popping off. Okay, cool, 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 Matrix. All right, all right, yeah, it's all right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Looking at it, okay. Gun fights. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's like, just like in the in the middle of a group of people just blasting them. I mean, it's just like, I'm like, oh, my God, uh I mean, violence, yeah, but God, they went to a whole nother level on violence. I was like, uh so they just... You know, they just went all the way left on the violence. But that's cool. You know what I'm saying? So we did our little thing. We did our little um, talk about it. I shared a little bit about what I thought about the uh, the piece. I did part one. I'll be posting up part two soon enough. Yeah, I'll do some, get some graphics together for it and stuff like that. But, but, you know what I'm saying? We are here to toast the moment as we do. On a daily basis, we have finished Freedom Within Limits one day before Christmas, two days before Kwanzaa, and today our discussion is entitled, The the Five Key Benefits of Having a Tribe. Now, that's going to be my rant. You know what I'm saying? Why you need to get a tribe? Why you the, I, what, 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 brother, how to, what possibly, what benefit could a tribe be to me? I don't. What, what do what do a person need to try for, brother? I tell me. And we're gonna talk about it. Then we're gonna get into the toast because you know I got I got a ten minute rap. But first, I need to put on my music. Now, if you hopefully y'all can hear, I got a slight undertone. I got nature's music going on, right? The calming effect of a rainstorm. You might hear some thunder pop up a little bit, and I don't want you to look outside. I just want you. Go and relax and embrace. You know what I'm saying? What we got popping off here for you at Giami Journey, right? Because it's real low. It's real low. But anyway, um, so we want to get everything ready. We want to do the rant. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, I want you to go. If you go to have an opportunity to go to Giami Journey, if you have an opportunity to go to Giami Journey, not the private group, not the private group, I want you to go to um, um, Giami Journey, um, the page. The group, the group is cool, right? I mean, because I guess I, I guess I might need to start posting news up in there, but that's a little bit harder because I've been posting news on um, the major Giami channel. And let me get to that real quick. I want to I want to get to the Giami page. Uh, you know what I'm saying, so that we could go. On and I had this, you know, because I, I started posting some more news up there that we could start talking about. Um, and we got, oh, look at that. We got an upcoming video. What time is this video? Tomorrow at 5 p.m. Challenging the five deadly self-limitations that are holding you and your tribe back. Um, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that, you know, got a nice little 
little model there with that Gianni shirt on. Y'all go and check that out. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all like, Brother Hati, what are you talking about? I need to see. Go to the Gianni journey. You can see. I just want to see. is some of the news up here that um you, we have to start. Well, yeah, I'm going to share. I'm going to do the news. Do the news, Brother Hot Tim. Do the news. All right. As you can see as we move down, Giamme, because right now, Kwanzaa is our season. Kwanzaa is our season. And, you know, like I said, we got we got the shirts. And I just want you look at that. Look at that. Uh, all right, girl. I'm going to put her. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get her a Kwanzaa 365 shirt. We're going to put a Kwanzaa 365 on that ass. How about that? Um, then, um, so, now, I wanted to share this because this was something that came off of some of the news that I was reading this morning. For the first time ever, essentially, no homes sold were under $200,000. So, I want, I want to try to, I, I, and the question that I have for us is what does that mean? For us, black folk, right? You know, because I know some of y'all listen to the show. They're like, Brother Jim, you said, you said you ain't, uh, you right. You know, I'm trying, right? But anyway, you know what I'm saying? But I still have to ask the question as a group because I'm forming my tribe for the benefit of my people. Please understand, it's a difference for me forming my tribe to try to get away from my people. I'm forming my tribe for the benefit of my people. And I have to focus on my tribe because if I focus on the fuckery that's going outside my tribe, I will never get anything accomplished. We got people trying to build nation without first trying to establish tribe. You can't do that. You see, you can't you, you can't establish city without establish hell, you can't even establish it's hard to establish a family. That tribe is that perfect middle area that when you get that shit right. It could grow down and it could grow up. What do you mean by growing down and growing up? It grows down to the individual and it grows up to the nation. So, but for the first time ever, since the no home sold were under 200K in November 2021. This is down from 56% in 2002. In general, the under 220K bracket is going away. So in a minute, there will be no houses under 200k what does that mean for us what does that mean for our future generations what does that mean as far as us forming tribes see this is the type of shit we got to start having these conversations right because it's so much it's, we you know what i'm saying we need cuz i'm going to the five i'm give you the five i'm give you the five the five reasons why you need to try right but we need tribe so that we can start putting our hands together and start putting our money together so that we can start securing something. Because what's being what's happening is that we are being priced out of America. And a lot of us is cool with it. We've been priced out. 200 k These are the these are the new houses. And and see these and, and I want you to see the Bullshit that they are building these new houses with. I mean, it's almost like I mean they they one step away from cardboard. And if you want to go and get an old house, oh my god, real life here, Jeremy Journey. Somebody upstairs watching football, really getting into it. But this gives you the chart and everything. You've gone to the article on Jeremy Journey Media on Jeremy Journey Media. I got a new I got a new news source, right? All right. So, um so Biden signs bill banning import from Xinjiang region in 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 swipe at China, in a swipe at China, right? Now, but I want y'all to listen to these numbers, right? Before I mean cuz I, I I'm going to get to the rant. I'm cuz I I'm I'm going to rank goddamn, but I'm going I but I want you to listen to this. Biden signs bill banning import from from Xinjiang region and and in swipe at China. Now, I want y'all to think about this. The region supplies an estimated, think about it, estimated 20% of the world's cotton and nearly half of the world's polysilicone, the raw material used to make solar panels. So they're working these people like slaves, which means they're paying them little to nothing. Right? Which means that the profits are enormous. Which means that this is moving, China is moving to positioning themselves 
using Western methods, <laughs> using Western methods to take your place. They're going to use slavery and push right past you. I got on all my t-shirts and shit probably made in China. These motherfuckers is, prof I mean, if you look at the numbers, right, if you go back to like 1850 and see what, what was the rate of the cotton production for us in the United States? Well, I ain't going to say us, but you know what I'm saying. It also applies to estimate 20% of the, of the world's cotton, and nearly half of the world's probably, so it, con it, it controls 50% of what people are using for solar panels. Which is going to be a necessity in the future. Because I'm telling y'all, whether y'all know it or not, economies run on energy. On being able to do economies that can't produce energy, can't produce anything else. They have to have uh, produce energy. And in a sense, the state has to find a way to control the energy production or at least um, or at least get get funding from the energy producing aspects. Right. And control violence. Um so they supply to uh, estimate 20% of the world's cotton. Look, I got on cotton right now. You probably sitting in your house right now on cotton, right? So they are positioning themselves to be a power in 2020. They don't, and they don't even care because they can look at all the shit that America going through because America is setting a horrible example which says, look, we could dog out certain populations and never have to, never have to deal with that. So I can make my come up and there's never, there will never be any retribution from that population. We'll just spin them off. Hmm. Hmm. I just want y'all to think about that for a second. All right. But anyway, um, so let's get off of that. Let's get off of that. Um, NASA, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope finally set the launch on Christmas Day. What? That's the day. Um, this telescope is going to be like uh, the Hubble, but it's going to be like a million miles away, and it's going to be able to use. It's going to be able. I think it uses X-ray. No, not X-rays. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This type of shit, I like to. You know, I, I'm one of those nerds. I like shit like this, right? Um. NASA James Webb Space Telescope finally says to launch on Christmas Day. For the last 30 -ish years, scope heads have eagerly anticipated the launch of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. And tomorrow, sometime around 7.20 a.m., the largest and most powerful telescope to ever leave Earth will begin its million-mile journey into deep space from its launch site in French Guyana. So, um... Its space plans, while its older brother Hubble mainly captured images in visible light, Webb was designed to take photos in in infrared, infrared light, or infrared. I guess it's infrared, or infrared, infrared light. This means it can cut through space dust and gas to capture much older, never before seen stars and planets, and in doing so, could potentially see back to the beginning of the universe. Ooh, see now this is gonna give me more fodder for my story. So go and launch this this ten billion dollar piece of equipment. I hope it works because it's it'd be fucked up to send ten billion dollars up into outer space of United States Americans taxpayer money and that shit don't work. <laughs> that would be messed up. But anyway, all right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I'm still we still doing the toast. Calm down. Now, hold on. Have y'all seen my little girl here, right? Damn, it said 453 views. I wonder how many clicks she got. But anyway, look at that. I like, look at them legs. Good God Almighty. Look, ooh. I mean, you know, little legs, but God damn, I just love black women. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah. Celebrating crimes and looking good doing it. That's you know that's what it's about here, Jeremy. Journey. I just want you to feel good, feel good. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. Organizing just got easy. Amazon follow NLRB settlement. So Amazon will start having to deal with unions. Amazon has unions have busted into Amazon. 
which means that which means that some Americans may start really making some real money instead of you know because I, I know a lot of people a lot of a lot of see and this is what we got to get out of you aspirationally rich motherfuckers who want to be Republicans you aspirationally rich because you like you basing all your policies on when you get your fifty six billion dollars. <laughs> That's how a lot of my listen. This is how a lot of people coming out of my generation think, right? They they aspirational, they aspirational in their politics. They aspirational in everything. They they're working it as if you know what I'm saying. It's guaranteed that they're going to move from the point right now where they are suffering to the point where they got fifty six billion dollars. So they want to they want the tax code to be, uh um um. They want the tax code to be beneficial to them when they get to the fifty-six billion dollars. You understand what I'm saying? So they they have uh, mind states that you know motherfuckers that got this much money need to be able to do whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to pay a, you don't have to pay a living wage, right? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to treat your 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 employees like human beings. You know what I'm saying? They should be slaves. And this is basically what's going on here in, in a lot of these super large organizations. Once we start allowing the unions, because now let me break this down for you. Corporations are tribes and unions are tribes. The unions provide the labor for the, 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 the white collar tribe. And the union is supposed to protect those workers speak for those workers make sure that their lifestyles can improve or better yet they could make enough money so that they could have a you know get one of those two hundred thousand dollar houses since since houses are going up to two hundred thousand dollars right a lot of us don't understand a lot of us don't understand that our wages have not moved significantly since the 70s some of y'all that are in my age group can you remember the time where twenty thousand dollars could provide you a life outside your mama's house <laughs> did y'all hear me y'all don't hear me y'all don't hear me <laughs> we're two thousand right with twenty thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying? That's like what? That that's like, I mean, per month. That's what uh, is not. Hell, let's just say twenty four thousand. You know what I'm saying? That's two thousand dollars a month. Two thousand. That used to be some money. You know what I'm saying? Now, let your ass go out and get a job. At twenty thousand, and I and I have to constantly stress the fact, you know. But anyway, you know we gonna we gonna keep it moving. This, now, for those of you that are new to the show, this is usually how the show go when we are outside of the books. Now we will come around to doing the books again, maybe one day. I don't know. All right, so that was the news that I posted up. Now I want y'all to check out the Matrix Resurrection movie review from Giami Journey, The Matrix. Resurrection Movie Review by GNJ.media is available on, um, it's available, oh, it says it's available on YouTube too, okay, cool, alright, so you get it on YouTube, you, I mean, you know what I'm saying, whatever, where will you find it at, where, where will you find your products at, you know what I'm saying, but you go and check it out, um, my, my comments on the movie. Let me see, is there anything else? Okay, no, no, no. All right, cool. So, we can move into the rant for today. The rant for today. Anime, baby, if you would, please. Could you please? She getting things together. Can I get the war horn, baby? Oh. Oh, my God, the war horn sounded. The war horn sounded. Can I please? Please, can I get my theme music? Thinking 
damn right. I am thinking all the time. I'm going to let you go and absorb some of that rainstorm that's going down just a little bit. Um. Oh, I'm looking for a book. <laughs> It's not the book. I got it. I got it right. I got it written right here. All right. So, um, Brother Hot Tim, don't tell us about, I got 10 minutes to tell you the five key benefits of having a tribe and why. It's titled, Why You Need to Have a Tribe. Let me check something real quick before we move forward. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. All right. All right. That's a real rainstorm right there. Real rainstorm. It's a real rainstorm. What is this? Um, anyway, let's get it. Oh, sound effects. What the fuck? Okay, cool. I'm sorry. I just found something. All right. Um, so, now, five key benefits. We're going to start with health. Starting from the bottom and working my way up. Health, right? A tribe, or at least it's supposed to. Now, because now, first off, stable, historically developed community or group of people with territory, economic life, distinctive culture, language, and common. Now, when you have all those things working, what happens is a culture is formed or a culture is plugged into. This culture provides, in a sense, a blanket that protects the members of the culture. Um, it allows people, because they belong to something, to feel less stress. So it makes it easier for them to maintain their health. Now, a prime example, what, what, what made this pop up on my mind was a book called Outliers by... Um, you can look up the book Outliers. I can't remember the name right now. Um, but anyway, in the very first chapter of the book where they only die of old age, the reason that th that chapter, because I kind of, I shared that chapter with y'all here on Jeremy Journey, but the major, the major component of that was that these people belong to something. They belong to something. So it made it possible for them to, to live a long and healthy life. Right? I'm talking about these motherfuckers were smoking, they was drinking, they was eating up pork. You know what I'm saying? But they was living long lives and they were dying of old age. Right? And you can see this in, in, in other cultures. See, because what people try to do is they try to go in and they try to snatch pieces of the culture, not realizing that it's the whole culture that makes it possible for the thing to happen. So you got these, I think they call them green zones all over the world, where you got People who live to 100 years old. And they trying to understand, they, is it the diet? So they go and isolate the diet. So you get the Greek diet. You know what I'm saying? The Mediterranean diet. You get these different diets, right? But they extract the diet from the culture. And then extracting the diet from the culture, you don't get the same benefits. You understand what I'm saying? So when you start tribing up, when you start rolling with a tribe, you start to feel you belong. You start to have, uh, in a sense, an extended family to your family. And if your family comes into it, it's even better. And you start to feel better. Your stress level starts to drop. Your body starts to work better. You start to receive love. And you're able to live longer. So, that's the first one, right? Health. Well, the bottom, you know, so we're going to move up towards the more important. Support is the next one, right? Support. We all need support. Part of the issue with a lot of us is because in modern times, we have allowed ourselves to be Especially with this 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 thing that's going on, this this COVID thing that's popping off right now, right? You got where it's like you're being separated from people, the the the, the human contact, and that's a whole other piece of the, the 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 
um, the health piece. I mean, because like in, in Giambi as well as in the, the conscious um, community all over, we, we greet each other. We touch, you know what I'm saying? Do the side, the side, the side, the side, boom, boom, boom. We touch, we hug, you know what I'm saying? We hug when we leave, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we spread that energy. We spread that love. That's part of the health piece, but it's also a form of support. Because now, once you start tribing up and you really have a serious tribe, and it's more than for sure, show, you have individuals that will support you in your endeavors, which is very, very good for you, right? Why? Because this, one, it helps give you fuel to continue going because when we start new ventures, oftentimes, we meet we admit, meet it with failure. Now, if we're by ourselves, it's easy for us to quit. But if we see that there's other people that's rocking with us, that's shooting, that that's 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 putting it up for us, right? You know what I'm saying? That's 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 supporting us, right? It makes it hard for you to stop. Like for example, with, with what we do here, right? What we do here, I am I have to. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I mean, and and this at first when I started it, you know what I'm saying? It's like you boom boom, ain't nobody listening, right? But then I was cool. But when more people start listening, and I started getting support, it's like shit. I'm doing it. I, I I'm gonna continue doing this shit. It inspires you to continue doing what you're doing. To continue growing in the way that you're going. You're getting support. You're getting people saying. Good job. You're getting people patting you on your back. You're getting people that to, to come and, and hug you and, and, and they're putting their eyes on you to make sure that you are all right. And they're seeing how they can help you. You know why? Because your success is their success. So they give you support. And that's a very important thing. That's one of the reasons, one, one of the major reasons you need a tribe. Next one is accountability. Accountability! Accountability! Oh, this is a major one. I should have made. I, I didn't. I, I didn't make this one number one. I, I should have made this one number accountability. Right? A real tribe makes sure that your ass is held accountable, and you are able to make sure that your tribe is accountable, and you're able to make sure that other aspects or other people within your tribe are held accountable. If there's no accountability, it's not a tribe. It's just a crew. Y'all just a boy band. <laughs> or a girl band. Or a mixed band. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't... If there's no accountability. Because the accountability makes sure that each of us are handling our business and doing what is necessary to make sure that the tribe survives. We understand that when we, when we fall short, it's not just us that is affected. We understand that it's our families and it's our tribes that are affected. I am held accountable to my tribe and I am held accountable to the members of the tribe, which inspire me to move faster and, and, and harder, makes me want to push harder, makes me want to learn more. When I'm working out, I have to represent something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you want to change a child's life, right, plug them into a tribe. Where they going to be held accountable and where they be like, shit, such and such don't give up like this. Give them the models. Give yourself a damn model. All right, here we go. Next one is give yourself purpose. Right? In a tribe, each of us have a purpose. Either we are assigned it sometime, but most of the times we grow into it and we handle our business. Life is so much easier when you have a purpose and a purpose is so much easier to find when you are in a tribe because you have older people who are a lot a lot of times can look at what your skill set are and expose you to places and opportunities for you to use your skill set and it will help you find your purpose, right? Also, the tribe, the tribe, right? The tribe helps you. And that is the, the, um, the tribe helps maintain that and helps you identify that. Now, number one, so giving yourself purpose. Number one, protection. I constantly talk to you the, the importance of the protection aspect because this was one of the first things that tribes was formed around in protecting 
each other. It's a lot easier for five to maintain what they have than it is for one. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot easier for five to go get from that one than that one to go get from that five. Protection. You know what I'm saying? Protecting your uh, your reputation, protecting your life, protecting your family. Tribes were designed to do this. And in that, it release it, it relieves a certain amount of stress on you and all you know so it's a beautiful thing. So these are the five key benefits of having a tribe. And, and, and like I said, go back, review them. If you have comments or questions, feel free to hit us up at Giami Journey. First one, number one, is health. Number two, support. Number three, accountability. Number four, giving yourself a purpose or finding your purpose. Number five, protection. All right? So, that's it. Anime, can you get that war horn for me? Uh, I am, I am pleasantly and praying, you know. I'm, think, I'm thinking all the time, thinking about what this show gonna be about tomorrow. I'm thinking all the time, and as we say in Giami, family, family, family. Class is dismissed now. Get the hell up out my classroom! All right, so now it's time for us to do the toast. It's time for us to do. The toast. I'm gonna go to the toast screen. You know what I'm saying? This is really why I kind of uh, did this right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. Um, this is kind of why I did it because you know it's water pouring. I wanted the water sound. The water is so beautiful. You so beautiful, water. Water, you are beautiful. Let me see. Is that where I, I did all that talking from that screen right there? Oh my God! I tell him shame on you. You just stupid. <sighs> it is what it is, right? All right. Um. So y'all got to see how I do some of my some of my work. I'll just be putting my ideas in and plow. But anyway, um. So we are going to go and do this little toast. And uh, I got some other stuff I got to go and get done tonight. Oh, by the way, family. By the way. Oh, let me. By the way, family, I need to let you know that we at Giami Journey, um, we have compiled um, uh, in Goose Shop a challenge book. We got one in color, which is um, expensive um, for those that wanted something like a, a keepsake. Um, and then also we have one in black and white that, I mean, either way, depending on how your money flow, um, you give either one, don't matter. Um, and you will be able to keep up with us on our challenges. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now we could have, if y'all want to, some of y'all that want to starting tomorrow, can have an end of the year. No, actually on the mojo if you want an end of the year challenge. But it will only be five days. But y'all understand what I'm saying. But anyway. Now, I want you to understand that next year. Next year, we'll be on year seven. And Kwanzaa will start on Umoja. So, our cycle is going to line up. Going to line up with the Kwanzaa cycle. Unless something else pop off. I don't know. It could be a, a leap year or something. I don't know. But anyway. It's going to line up, you know. So, anyway, letting y'all know how long we've been doing it. So, also, so we got the books coming out. Um, I'm going to be on the lookout for the commercials. I'm going to send it out, allowing everybody to get it. Now, those of you who are um, um, supporters, G&J Media supporters, those of you that are our supporters, you have the ebook. Already available to you. You have to, you know, print it up. And then, of course, you had an ebook that is writable. It's supposed to be a writable one on there. If it's still not writable, let me know so I get in touch with the dude that put it together for me. Now, also, 
Um, unfortunately, the new one that I did is not writable. I, I wanted this one so that you, because some people like touching the book. And sometimes, I'm going to be honest, sometimes I kind of like touching the book and being able to get in there and do my notes. And then on top of that, for those that's going to be going through the process, I want them to be able to do that too. Because I want them to be able to turn something in. Right? I want them to be able to turn something in. Um, so we could look at it and be like, all right, cool, I got, I got you, you know, or they could go on and share with us. But anyway, um, uh, so what's going to happen with that is that, of course, we're going to advertise it, but what I was, um, and just wanted to let you know about it. So also, I want to remind those of you that are new to the toast. I want you to understand that you will be able to, I want you to listen to this, you're going to be able to add your ancestors to our toast list. Now, it's a very easy process to do this. What you have to do is you go, um, oh my God, I messed up. Um, let me cancel that. I'm going to cancel. Clear. Now, um... What you're going to do is, you're going to go to gnj.media, and there is a place for your email. You're going to put your email address in there, and you're going to push follow. You're going to push follow, okay? You're going to push follow on the email address. Five things, five reasons you need a try. And once you put that in there, you'll be able to correspond with us here at Giami Journey. And in your correspondence with us, you can let us know that you have ancestors you want to add to the list. And you can simply add your ancestors to the list. And we will pour to them. We will add them to the list. Um, your ancestors are more than welcome on the list. We just ask you to be mindful of the fact that we have, um, we have a pretty extensive list. So please be mindful of how many people you put on there. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, and, and you know, and then also save room. For those who are supporters to want to, you know, add a couple of more people on there, right? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I want to salute all your ancestors. But once, once again, um, those that are in, in the tribe and doing things to support the tribe, I got to put their interest first. That's just how it go. But anyway, so we got that. So now we're going to do our little toast. So if we could. First. We already toasted. For those that don't know, we toast every morning at 5.45 a.m. It went down this morning. Family out. I looked at my clock. I was about to, I was about to get on there, but then, like I said, my girls, my girls was trying to get their computers together, and I was working on their computers, and I just totally, it slipped my mind. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because I wanted to get on and, and chat with some of y'all. But anyway, um, we got tomorrow um, what I need to do. So what I need you to do right now, what I need for you to do at this point in time is to understand that we toast every morning at 5.45 a.m. You can join us on gnj.media or all of our social media platforms. You can also join us on our Spreaker channel because we, we launch one every, every day. Um, um, your ancestors, when you send them to, will not be on the present week. More than likely, they will be added to next week. Okay, I will look through my email to emails today. I didn't get any, so um, uh, the I will go with and add the people that I need to add today. All right. So um, with that, we are going to lift up our glass and we're going to toast our ancestors as we do every day. And we lift up our glass. We salute our ancestors. And with that. We say a resounding. No, we salute our creator. I don't know where my mind is. I do know where my mind is. I'm going to go get it in a minute. Right? We lift up our glass. We salute our creator. And we say, Ashe. Near family, we lift up our personal ancestors. Lifting them up high. We salute them. We celebrate them. And we say, Ashe. From there, we move to the present moment. Right, family, we are on the moment of Kaumba, realizing the importance of the moment. The moment is our gift. They call it the present. We are in the present. It's a gift from our ancestors to us, and we have to hold on to it and pass it 
to our future generations. And the question that all of us have to wrestle with on a regular basis is, what are you doing with the time that you have been given? What have you? What are you doing with in your present moment? What are you doing with your now? This is the question that all of us have to wrestle with. Are we wasting it? Because a lot of us, we want to get this stuff. We inherit this stuff and we act like it's ours. But the inheritance is not for you. The inheritance is for your tribe. The inheritance is for your, your family. Please understand that. It's for the continuous success and the continuous upholding space for your family. It's moving forward. Some of y'all get your inheritance and you think that, you know, that little bit of money that somebody left you was for you. No, your name was on there because you represented the future. So they left you on there so that their legacy could continue. Their legacy don't stop with you. So this don't mean you go out and you spend their money and party and get strippers and shit like that. It means that you take that money and. And you invest it in a way that it could build up so that you will be able to pass some on to the future generation. Come on. Think. Right? So, in the present moment, we are on Kaumba. And, uh, family, I ask you as I ask every day to open up your reticular formation and seek out Kaumba. I want you to seek out Kaumba. I want you to seek out Kaumba. I want you to talk about Kaumba. I want you to practice talking about Kumba. I want you to to learn um, how to identify it. You know what I'm saying? I want you to use it in your conversation. I, I want you to really build upon the concept of Kumba. We lift up our glass and we salute this principle. And also, I want to lift up my glass. I want to salute all of the Kumba born. You know what I'm saying? Let's send shots out to the Kumba born. I, I, I didn't mean to forget y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Kumba Born. Now, for those that don't, don't um, know what Kumba means, don't speak the language. Kumba means creativity. The modic principle for the day is order. The color is orange, as you can see by the beautiful shirt that I have on. And you go and get you one. Go to GNJ. Go to merch.gnj.media or just go to gnj.media and go to shop. Um, Cause and effect. Cause and effect is the hermetic principle. Male name for the day is Kwame. Kwame. Female name is Ama. We lift up our glass. 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 And we say, to this present moment, I say, and then we move to our future generations. We toast our children, our children's children, on to infinity. On to infinity. As long as we're handling our business in the moment, our children will always be all right. So let's handle our business in the moment. We lift up our glass and we say, I say. Last but not least. Last but not least. What do you mean, last but not least? Listen up, baby. I'm going to tell you. Be patient. Right? Now. What I want to do is I want to lift up my glass and I want to send out that healing energy to our tribe and to our family members out there who might be in need of it, right? That balance healing energy. We know we're going to lift up Brother uh, Quasi, right? We're going to lift up Elder Tony West. We're going to lift up Elder Aziza West. We're going to lift up Elder Debbie Bowie, right? Right? We're sending that healing energy out. And for those of you who have people out there, um... I'm looking on. I, I'm not. I'm not seeing anybody here with us. So it's cool. So they'll catch it on. They'll catch it on the replay. <laughs> so we lift up our glass. We salute and we say, "I say, I say, I say." Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. So I'm gonna sit back. And listen to, because this shit is surprisingly soothing. Um, I came up, I came up with this concept because I was, I was looking at some YouTube videos and I started seeing that like rainstorms was getting millions.
millions of views. I'm like, God damn, I've been talking all this time and all I had to do. So I put together a nice long track and I, I'll make the link available for you so that you can get it, those of you that want to sleep. Because there's nothing like sleeping to a damn rainstorm. And you know, you could put this on your phone and it'll play for about an hour and 57 minutes. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brother I Tim is not playing. Like I said, in 2021, you know what I'm saying? I am, I, you know what I'm saying? And we'll, we'll talk about that, you know what I'm saying? Setting setting some of the goals up for the tribe. And, you know, I'm going to talk with some of the tribe because there's a lot of possibilities for us. A lot of possibilities. And it's just a matter of us moving on that, right? A matter of us moving. And I'm ready to move. I don't know about everybody else. I'm ready to move. Right? I've been held back long enough. I this shit is this shit is for the birds. Right? So it's time for us to really build it and, and do some things. So I am about to get up out of here. Um I know what I, I and and I feel like hearing. See, because I ain't get a chance. See, every year Eddie usually pay right before Christmas and I missed it. If he did. So I ain't get it out so
All right, family. We out. Y'all have a great rest of the Christmas day. And I will see you tomorrow. 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 I love you.